Welcome to the Fashion Junkies. We're going to show you today our Build-A-Mom kit. This is our Duchess package. And this is our Majesty package. So to build your hip kit, you're going to start off with your backing. Your backing has two sides, obviously, the front and the back. And there's one side that is more smoother than the other side is. This is not the side that you want to be putting your um, ribbons on. Mm -hmm. um, it um, has a coarse side, which is the other side, and that's the side that will help your ribbons adhere. So go ahead and start and get your um, five, two and three fourths inch thick ribbon and place them onto your backing. You're going to do one thin line across the width of the top of your ribbon and place it down in any order that you desire. A reminder to please be careful with your glue gun, whether it is a high temperature or low temperature. We do not want your beautiful little fingers getting hurt because you will wince. Um, we have gotten good questions before in the past if it is possible to use a stapler. You can use a stapler. It is um, a good idea um, unless you have someone or you know that you're going to be tugging at it. Um, the staples pierce through the ribbon and being that the ribbon is made out of poly satin, um, it's not ideal because you will see um, if you tug on it hard enough, it will just rip off. Um, so it, it will be more secure with a hot glue, but you can try the staple. She's now using the two one and three eighths ribbon, um, and she went ahead and um, she glued them on to displace all the black in the middle. You're now getting the honeycomb. You will get either a honeycomb ribbon like this, which has holes in it, it's metallic, or just a regular, nice, big, shiny, metallic um, ribbon, depending on what we have at stock in the moment in your colors. Now you also, in your kit, get two holographic ribbons. Holographic because, just like for ejection screen, it's clear, and only has the image that you need on there. The image contains um, metallic letters, maybe um, numbers. This one says we've got spirit and it has um, asterisks all over the place, which are stars. The other one has a bunch of band symbols. Now you can either place your decorative garlands on first or you can do your braids first. It is the way you desire to do um, your mom. So uh, my mom here is placing the decorative garlands on first. Um, the decorative garlands will vary depending on your mascot. If it, I mean, for example, birds do not have paws. <laughs> uh, I hope not. <laughs> that would be a very different bird. Um, and for example, sometimes the stars on, they're n not ideal for some mums, depending on your style or colors, um, of your kit. Now she is gluing the braids just as simply as she did with the ribbons. Glue a little bit on the back, stick it on, hold it on there and press it for a couple seconds, um, and then you're ready to go. In your Duchess package, you will have three trinkets that you can place on braids, like my mom is going to show you now. 
or if you wait till later in the video you will see how we can put them put them I'm sorry on the mum the flower itself um, you can also hang them from the curlers and loop them through the streamers so you have that option Here my mom is placing them on the braid just simply to make them stand out. Now my mother is gluing on some streamers. Some find it easy to curl them first and then paste them on. Some others paste the streamer on uncurled and then curled it. Um, it's however you find it comfortable. There's no wrong way in making a mum as long as you're happy. In your Duchess kit, you will get um, a total of six strands of curling ribbon. Um, they will be solid colors. If you get the Majesty kit, you will go ahead and get um, the upgrade to have some um, metallic curling ribbon to just have that extra pop. Here we're showing only the solid colors until the end. Please be careful handling scissors, they can give you paper cuts. Just curling ribbon, we know. Time for the bell. This is completely optional because I do know that some schools don't allow bells or if your mom has bells they make you tape it up during the school day so that you will not be um, distracting other um, fellow classmates. So the bell is optional entirely to you. Um, if you do put it on um, that's like I said totally up to you as long as your school approves of it it's fine. Just make sure to put it on for sure for that um, pep rally or homecoming game. You want to make all the noise you can. So these are the extras here that we have for the Majesty package. We have the metallic streamers I was talking about. You have three extra um, trinkets. Um, one of the trinkets that I have uh, not shown, we have not shown you guys, is the homecoming arch that will go on top of the flower. Um, that came with a regular Duchess package. Um, so I will show you that towards the end of the video, what we did with that. Um, in the Majesty package, you also get homecoming lettering. They're single letters. The H is alone, the O is alone. They're separated from each other. Um, so that helps you place them wherever you like in whatever order, slanted, sideways, any way you'd like. You also get eight 
or I'm sorry, nine additional loops for your uh, flower border around the top. Um, those we you can put in between the original nine that you get in the Duchess package. Um, if you glue it together, it will just make your flower look even more um, pretty much like royalty. That's what the majesty is about. Um, just add, you know, sass to it. I know that some girls like me, um, we love anything that's shiny and blingy and so you have that choice. You can loop it. You can, I'll show you another option you can do with your loops um, for your border later on in the video. Okay, so we have two different types of loops. What you can do is you can glue it as a regular loop like so and you can go ahead and place that on there um, make your loops I used five of those you can also make these coned loops in the way that my mom just showed you and you will need four of those you might you I mean you can do it the other way around you can do five five um, triangles and four loops or four five loops and four triangles um, I think we're going to do um, five loops and f four triangles but we'll stay tuned to see which one looks better for you guys Okay, so then we did four loops, and I'm guessing five triangles. What my mother is doing, she's showing you that you can glue the triangles in any which way. You can glue them with a cone down, like so. Or you can go ahead and flip it and glue it the other way with the cone facing up. We will be leaving those two different styles on your mom today to show you that you can use both styles and you can go as funky as you'd like. So now we have all of the border glued on. What you're going to do is um, add some glue around the hole that was pre-cut, pre-made in your backing. Add some glue on your loops um, to make sure that your flower um, adheres to that. Um, your flower comes is six inches and it comes with a pipe cleaner already installed by yours truly. Um, you are going to make sure that pipe cleaner fits cleanly into that um, pre-made hole there in your backing. Um, press on the flower, make sure that you get it nice and um, stuck on there, make sure nothing falls out. Um, then what you're going to do with the pipe cleaner is you're going to go ahead and add glue around the hole, around the, the that whole circle there and that backing and you're going to go ahead and carefully, and I stress this, carefully, please just z um, line your pipe cleaner around the back carefully because it is hot the glue is hot until your pipe cleaner runs out you're gonna ro roll it around and around like a lollipop um, gets made and you're gonna hold it down pressed on the end make sure it stays down So now you see the loop of the ribbon. We have a satin loop here. The loops can range from satin. It can to um, it can range to grow gain. I'm sorry, grow grain ribbon. And you're going to go ahead and loop it, kind of like you're making a cone for the border. Um, and that will go ahead and go into the back of your flower. 
um, this helps um, go ahead and adhere it to your shirt. So you're going to paste that either on top of or directly on um, or above the pipe cleaner. This is the third trinket that I was telling you about. It's a homecoming arch. Um, that one we will put on top of the flower. This one's the third trinket that comes with your duchess kit. So what we did here is we went ahead and we glued it onto the flower so that the flower wouldn't look so simple and plain. Now, although these pins are not included in your Build-A-Mom kit, um, we are going to show you that these pins go on the back and how they are put on. Now we're going to show you some options for the bottoms of your ribbons. You can either cut them completely in a slant, like so, or you have the option of cutting them into a chevron, which is what we call them. It's practically a, cor um, a triangle. You go ahead and you fold the ribbon in half like my mom did and you cut it at a slant upwards so you have those choices this one is the diva it is the majesty package we hope you like the tutorial. Please connect with us on social media.